What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with the Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning, once again, Joe Joyce, Alexander Usyk, and let me begin. This video, okay, is inspired from a comment from Jermaine Peterson, okay? And as you guys can see, just imagine Joyce versus Usyk. Joyce would literally be getting peppered for 12 rounds straight. Usyk would be like trying to punch a fly for Joe's slow punches. And let me counter punch. Um, let me say this, okay? And shout out to Jermaine Peterson. I think perception is so powerful these days, okay? Because we look at, and we're living in a world of, we, we witness a defeat of a fighter, and then a fighter all of a sudden loses this aura of invincibility, you know? Um, because before, the reason I say that is because before a lot of people would say, you know, what if Joyce and Usyk fought? And then you heard more than over half of them say the same thing. Joyce would be too much. Joyce would overpower Usyk. <sighs> Joyce would just work and break him down and, and eventually stop Alexander Usyk. And that would be what it was. Now that we've seen a big six foot six Chinese destroyer, Zili Zhang, uh, swell Joyce's eye into submission um, to match the eye of Daniel Dubois, because that's what Joe Joyce said. Um, mm -hmm. Now we're looking at a different scenario. Now people are like, well, you know what? That's what have happened with Joyce. I mean, it versus Usyk, right? And my counterpunch is, okay, that might have happened. This last fight showed us something about Joe. Did it show that he was no longer tough? No. Did it show he was no longer durable? No. Did it show us that he was slow? No, because we already knew he was slow. Did it show us that he lacked ability? Yes. But understand, Joe Joyce had the same ability that he, that he had pretty much. He's pretty much the same fighter. So regardless of what he learned since the WSB tournament by fighting uh, Alexander Usyk, you know, he didn't, he still didn't, that didn't teach him how to move that head off the center line. And that is the exact punch coming from another southpaw like Usyk that he was getting caught with that kept Joyce honest. OK, even though Joyce threw punches, but he knew certain punches he shouldn't throw because he was getting caught with that left. Now, who's to say with different weight of gloves that that shit wouldn't have happened with Alexander Usyk? OK, there's a very good chance it more than likely it would have went 12 rounds because I think Zili Zhang hits a lot harder than Alexander Usyk for Jesus based on 50, 60 pounds difference. You know what I mean? That's a lot of velocity difference right there, right? But it doesn't matter and it shouldn't stop the fact that uh, Joyce would still get hit. You know, maybe it wouldn't have been in six rounds, but maybe eight or nine when that eye started closing. Because again, look at Anthony Joshua's eye. His eye in the first fight started looking distorted because the accumulation of punches and where they were landing, the punch placement was placed in a particular area right under that eye because he it was almost like he was aiming for that eye. But normally Usyk is a guy that will pepper you and peppering someone, hitting them again and again and again and again. That's what causes swelling. OK, so it wasn't a knockout last night. It was a TKO because it had to be stopped. Technically, he could not continue because the doctors told him he couldn't and he shouldn't. Therefore, he didn't. Right. They made that possible. But with Usyk, who's to say Usyk couldn't do the same thing? 
Sure, it will be coming from a shorter fighter, but he already knows Joe Joyce. He already was acquainted with Joe Joyce. He knows Joe Joyce is going to come right at him. He knows Joe Joyce is not going to be tentative. He knows Joe's not going to be hesitant. He knows Joe, Joe Joyce is going to fight him like a, 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 a time clock is depending on it because it does, because it's all about time. And Joe Joyce is going to throw as many punches as possible and make that a fight as much as possible to get the job done like he always has done or attempted to do, like last night, right? So yes, that probably would have been the scenario, but it took Joyce getting beat by another Southpaw to get people to open their eyes to understand like, yo, that could have happened with Usyk too. Why you guys are saying Usyk would have just been ran over by the bigger Joyce because we seen Joyce beat up Joseph Parker. You know, failing to understand that these guys squared off before for five or six rounds. I think it was six rounds. Might have been five. But the same thing would have happened. It just would have been on a professional setting. But the same result could have happened. The same consequences could have happened. The fact that Alexander Usyk would counter with the with the left each time Joe Joyce threw out that lazy right left jab. That's those things that could have possibly happened. Now, could Joyce hurt Usyk? I say so. I, I think he could. You know, but the thing is, for how long could he sustain that over and over again to stop Usyk? And remember, Usyk is not a guy that has a, a, a half a tank. He has a full tank of gas each time he gets in that, that ring from rounds one to rounds whatever. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of this video inspired by uh, Mr. Peterson. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.